Hello friends, I am back with one more video on Alternative Investment Fund Manager Certification Program from NISM, which is uh, 19C uh, module. This time I'm going to discuss with you fee structure and fund performance, which is part of chapter 9 of the book. And uh, within chapter 9, I'm just going to take up one topic, which is fee structure of alternative investment funds. So, you know, this is a very extensive chapter. However, uh, considering the time uh, constraint that each video has, I will like to take you through only one subtopic of the entire chapter, which is, again, I'm repeating for your benefit, fee structure of an AIF. So what is it that I'm going to share with you? I'm going to take you through 10 multiple choice questions, which I often do in most of my videos. But let me tell you at the beginning that you must uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel to encourage me to come out with more videos, you know. So while I'm making a request, I'm also trying to be slightly assertive uh, so that, you know, I get that uh, encouragement to make more videos. But uh, more of it later, let us start with questions first. Right. So the first question, which is in front of you here, which you can see management fees are allocated to every investor in case of an alternative investment fund on dash 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 based on their value of investment in the fund. So what's the uh, you know, what's the method which is used? Is it flat basis? Is, is it FIFO basis first in first out? Is it pro rata basis or is it done randomly? Well, the answer is very simple. The correct answer is C. So the fee allocation is on pro rata basis. I hope you got uh, the answer, which has been correctly mentioned here as C. Let us move to second question. The question is, in which of the following category of AIFs, management fee uh, is management fee charged on the basis of gross net asset value? So there are different methods to charge management fee, but there is one kind of fund in which it is charged on the on the logic or on the basis of gross net asset value? Well, it's the answer is again C, it's category three AIFs, right? So for category one and two AIFs, the basis is different, which anyway you will get to know as we proceed in this video. And there is technically nothing called as category four AIF. This takes me to the third question. Management fees in the category A, uh, one and two AIFs are charged as a percentage of what? Is it profit? Is it call up capital? Is it gross net asset value or is it committed capital? Well, the answer here is very, very clear. And that answer is committed capital. So it's on the basis of committed capital that, you know, uh, the fee is charged as a percentage of that during the commitment period. We'll move on to question number four, which is uh, slightly technical and not as straightforward as what you saw so far. So this question is asking you to select the statements which are true. And luckily, you have only two statements to select from. So the first is, uh, or let me read the entire question for you. Which of the below mentioned statements is are true? So we have to select the right statement. And there are two statements given. Management fee is fixed and paid to the investment manager irrespective of any future gains or losses made by the fund. So even if the fund is making loss, the management fee should be paid. Is that correct or not is what we are investigating. And management fees are paid to fund management service providers by the investment manager and not for profit generation. OK, so whether both the statements which are kind of interlinked uh, are both of them true or not true. Well, I would say that both the statements are true. And that's why the answer here is C. Well, this was different from what you saw so far, but uh, that's that's about it. Let's move to question five. Identify incorrect statement out of the three statements given below, right? First statement, management fees are charged as a fixed percentage of gross net, net asset value of category three IF, which we have already seen. The statement seems to be correct. The rates at which fees are charged are predetermined and fixed before the launch of the scheme and mentioned in the offer document, which is also correct. So what is not correct is management fees shall accrue from the date of application, right? Well, it does not accrue from the date of application. It accrues from date of first close. Let me repeat it for you. Date of first close uh, up to the date when the AIF is dissolved. So the answer here is 
again C, which is the third one here, which you can see C as three, which means this is incorrect. Now let us move to some numericals that will make things a little interesting for you. So the question that we have now is, uh, here is a fund which has a total capital commitment of 50 crore, gross NAV at the end of first year as 58 crore, gross NAV at the end of second year as 65 crore, and management fee exclusive of GST is 1.5%. So the question that we are asking is, what is the total management fee payable by category one AIF in the first year? So, so what would be that answer? Well, that answer needs to be calculated and that's why we have a simple explanation for you. Management fee in category one and category two are charged as a percentage of committed capital during the commitment period, right? Uh, therefore, the management fee is calculated as 1.5% of the total commit capital commitment of 50 crores. And then whatever is the amount arrived at on that 18% GST also needs to be calculated. So the answer becomes C, which is 88.5 lakhs. So let me repeat it for your benefit again. There are two things to be considered here. One, 1.5% of the capital commitment and whatever value that you arrive at, which will be around 75 lakhs, you pay 18% on that as GST. The next question, which is again a numerical one, similar situation that you can see here. What is the total management fee payable by category one in the second year? So first year, we saw the calculation. Now what will happen? Will there be something different in the second year? The management fee for the second year is same as the first year. Uh, calculated as 1.5% of the total committed capital, 50 crores plus 18%. So the answer again will be the same. However, the option will be different. So it's B, but the number is same, 88.5 lakhs. I hope you've been comfortable so far and you have been with me with respect to these solutions. Let us move to the next question. Again, the data remains same. However, the question is different. What is the total management fee payable by category three AIF in first year? Now, earlier question was about category one and category two. Now it is about category three. So let us see how the calculation works. Management fee in category three AIF as charged as a percentage of gross net asset value. Now this is different from the total capital commitment, which was for category one and category two. In category three, it is based on what we call as the gross net, uh, net asset value. So the management fee is 1.5% of gross net asset value, which is 58 crore in the year one, right? And then there is a 15% GST, which will be applicable. So the calculation now, as you can see, has become different from what it was for category one and category two. Let me repeat it again. Category one and category two based on total cap capital commitment, but Category three is based on gross net asset value. That was a question that you also got as MCQ. Now, the next question, same data remains. There's no change in the data. What is the total management fee payable by category three IF in second year? So what happens in second year, right? Uh, now, now uh, unlike in the case of category one and category uh, <clears throat> two, where it was on total capital commitment here, the management fee will be calculated as 1.5% of the gross net asset value of the second year. So the amount has changed. The first year is 58 crores, second year is 65 crores. So the calculation will be on 65 crores, 1.5% of that, and apply 18% of GST on that. So the answer will come as D, 1.1505 crores. The last question in this video is about with the same data set, what is the total management fee pay payable by category one AIF in both the years? So first year and the second year, how much will they pay, right? So here it is, we are talking about category one. So the gross NAV concept will not be applicable. What will be applicable is total capital commitment. So the total management fee for the two years in the scenario A is this much crore, totaling to 1.77 crore, which is basically uh, just doubling it like right? so so far we have seen that the answer is 88.5 lakhs uh, in case of category one so if it is for two years we have to just multiply it so 88.5 lakhs multiplied by two will give us 1.77 crore and the answer would be one so i hope uh, i could give you some uh, you know idea about uh, this particular concept in detail with this video as i mentioned in the beginning 
and I'm again while I'm saying thank you to you for your valuable time I would request you friends to please like this video and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for your valuable time